Pete, another away win. 4-1 victory away from home, but uh, did the result flatter us a little? I think so. It didn't look like a 4-1 game, but it's a great win for us. I mean, that's five away wins now. And uh, it gives us 23 points out of the second round of games, which is, which is tremendous. Um, to win 4-1 away, uh, that's our second home game now in the week. Six points, uh, six goals scored, two conceded. So I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, it's a great return. Players are working hard. First half was a non-event, really. Um, we thought we were poor. There was a lot of stoppages, uh, free kicks, and all that. The play, the play was too broken. But we did create a few chances. I mean, Ian Daly could have scored. Daryl Kavner could have scored. So it was important that we didn't concede them a set pitch because they were dangerous. Had a good delivery. So got in the half time nil all, and we started the second half like a like a train. But then I fell asleep. You know, as soon as we scored, we conceded. And there was a bit of a spell there when you know it looked like if we got a second goal, we'd be happy. But uh, to get forward, yeah, that's great. That makes it 12 league games now unbeaten. And in those 12 games, uh, Daryl Kavanagh and Danny North have scored 15 goals between them. That's uh, some partnership that's building up there. It's a great partnership. And the two boys, in fairness, like, we, we had to play Darren Wyde in the right tonight. And we then we brought him inside and put Ian Wyde in the right. Uh, so he was much better when he came inside because he's, he's a threat. He's a threat in behind. And... Uh, he got his first goal and thought work really, really hard in there. I think he's happiest in there. Where Ian done well, it was a wide in the right. And he got, he, he, that was a fantastic goal he got to finish. And then Bradley at the end. I mean, that would have really capped it because he was magnificent again tonight. And but that one they hit the post would have really capped off a great evening for him. I know it's very early in the season still, but after 12 league games unbeaten and on such a run, as you said, 23 points in 27, it must, uh, must be hard to, for the players not to start winning, thinking of winning titles. I said to the players after the match, if we can just match the number of points we got so far in the next two round of games, we won't be far off that league. But it's going to be difficult because, you know, to get 23 points in a, in a series of matches will be very hard to repeat that. But we'll keep going. Uh, I think, you know, with the exception of the first half tonight, we've played well. We played really well last week against Derry, played well in the dock. And the second half here tonight shows what we're all about. And the most important thing for me now is the players get time to recover. Because we have quite a few injuries again tonight. The players really down to the really down to the bones we are in terms of especially defenders, but David McCarthy and Ian Birmingham going off there. So we have to assess them and hopefully they'll be okay. And we get Brian Shorthall back for Brian Shorthall back for the game on Tuesday. And you know, uh, I don't know about Derek Pender, but we got a bit of good news today. Connor Kenner was given the okay to start training. So we're doing a bit of running today and a bit of swimming. So that's that's I'm just hoping now, fingers crossed, that there's no reaction to it to what he's doing today and he can push on here. Yeah, as you said, the back four has been changed around a little bit and even even during games, which is unfortunate, I suppose. But um, moving on to Tuesday now, game down in Galway, so we'll be likely to see a different back four again. It looks like we will. We haven't had our, you know, since the first two games, we haven't had our two, let's say, so-called first-choice centre-backs in Connor and Evan. At the time, we, like, we Connor hasn't played, but as you know, and Evan's been missing a game as well. So uh, it's going to be hard to to say at the moment what our back four is going to be but there probably will be changes because I can't see Dave McCarthy making it. I'm just hoping Brian Shorthog gets over the virus he has and Derek Pender makes a quick recovery because Ian, Neil Harney took a knock there tonight we had to but we had to let him leave him on the pitch same as Ian Daly did because we had made a third substitution. So um, the two physios are going to be very 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 busy now between now and between now and Tuesday. Galway obviously are being at the opposite end of the table from us and are on an opposite sort of a run than us but uh, no doubt it'll still be a, a tough game It will be a game and we have to treat them with the utmost respect I mean they're going to have to win a game sometime I think they've only won one game this year which makes it all the more dangerous but we have to focus on ourselves make sure we get a good start to the third round of games and take it from there I asked you about the FAI Cup draw last week and uh, this, this week sees another Cup draw on Monday with a European draw yeah, well, as I said last week about the FAI Cup, you have to, you know, you have no control over the draw. It'd be nice to get a team that's, you know, easy to get to, you know. Uh, obviously, somewhere like Wales or even Northern Ireland. I know the fans will want to hear that in terms of Northern Ireland, but, you know, we got to try and, you know, make sure that we don't have to go to Azerbaijan or somewhere and end up halfway around the world because we have rovers when we come back, so have to make sure now that with a little bit of luck that we get something decent in the draw. Thanks. Please. Okay, then.